Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Um, yeah, more trade trade deadline news, more Cubs news. Kim, Craig Kimbrell's being traded. All sort of knew this was going to happen. This isn't a surprise that he got traded. However, I was not expecting him to go to Chicago White Sox. So another crosstown trade. The White Sox already traded for Ryan Tapera from the Cubs. Um, so they're getting Kimbrell. The Cubs in return are getting infielder, second baseman Nick Madrigal, and right-handed pitcher Cody Hewer, here, here, here. Um, so Madrigal, I asked one of my White Sox friends, and he said he's a on-base type of guy, no pop, not great at defense, but doesn't strike out. So he's supposed to be good. He's a high draft pick. Um, so hopefully he develops into the, like a better player all around. Hopefully he can fix his defense a little, it seems. Uh, but yeah, no, on-base guy, someone doesn't strike out, that'll help the Cubs in the future since we're one of the highest rated strikeout teams in the league. <clears throat> um, and then the pitcher, Cody, Cody Hoover, he's 25 years old, he's 4-1 this year, he's a bullpen guy. Um, Kimbrell, also, oh, actually, uh, Kimbrell, he's been very dominant this year, 0.49 ERA with 23 saves, a 47% K rate, he's striking out almost half the batters he faces. And pretty interesting, this is the seventh trade between the Cubs and the White Sox since 1990. And this is their second consecutive day. So they had five prior to this since 1990. Now they have back-to-back -back days with trades. Um, the White Sox are just stacking their bullpen before their playoffs. They now have Liam Hendricks, uh, Ryan Tapera, and now Craig Kimbrell as well. So that bullpen's looking a lot better for the playoffs. But they, I think they can make a deep run. Um, also about Nick Madrigal, he... like. He's had surgery on his hamstring. He hurt it this year, so he's out for the rest of the season. Um, getting magical, I think, is worth it. I, I wasn't really sure who we get, what we, what we would get for Kimbrel, um, but you get a pitcher and I think a capable offensive player. Um, yeah, again, this one wasn't too much of a surprise. Next video I'll make though about Javier Baez. That one came as a little more surprise to me. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching.